All right, guys, Sean here with the Kings Courtyard Lawn Care Service. I am back in my house and um, I've been working on my garage this past weekend since it's been so wet and been raining and um, uh, just impossible to mow. So as many people know on the East Coast that the hurricane hit and uh, it affected North Carolina as well, at least where I'm at, and uh, just couldn't mow this weekend. So I'm a... Uh, about a day or so behind and uh, probably be a couple of days it's supposed to rain until Thursday I believe so I'm gonna be behind a couple of days but the good thing about it is that I was able to see fertilize and aerate my yard and also threw down some lime but look at the benefits just of this I mowed this I think it was last well my son mowed it in the last video that you saw and uh, it's already starting to pop back up you can't tell from here, but it's really dumping. I uh, haven't seen any new grass yet, but uh, I know it's coming. So uh, this video is pretty much going to be about <clears throat> these uh, trimmer racks that I found at Walmart. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I'm actually going to put up two more. I got two more right here that I'm going to put up. And I'm going to put my blowers, get them off the floor, put my blowers up there. And also this tool rack that I bought. And a lot of people watch this video. And um, this tool rack has been okay, but it's just starting to bend and it's starting to lean, as you can see, getting interfering with the garage door and it's just leaning so bad. So it's, it serves its purpose, but it was, it was cracked and damaged when I got it. And I really should have took it back, but I didn't. So, um, here we are now trying to find a different solution for it. here uh, in my garage I did a little work this evening um, like I said earlier wasn't able to work outside so I figured what a perfect time to come in and actually organize my garage as you can see got my trimmers there got my blowers here got my hand tools there and um, of course my mowers here so uh, all of my all of my stuff is off the floor which I'm very happy and pleased about um, this is uh, another one of those sprayers that I got from Ballard. Um, I haven't did anything with that yet because it's end of the season. I do need to test it out, but once that um, comes out the box, I will probably put another rack underneath it. And I may put my blowers underneath it. I'm not sure yet, but one of the two is gonna happen. Either the blower is gonna be up top and the sprayer is gonna be down below, or maybe blower here, blower there, sprayer here, sprayer there, don't know yet. Um, but I do plan on um, putting another rack in there um, and then that'll be all cleaned out so that and these boxes will be gone and this rack is gonna be gone so that is uh, what I'm looking at right now so uh, yeah cleaned up pretty nicely I wanted to get everything off the floor and as you can see I have a few little things here but mainly this stuff is gonna disappear too but uh, those are my jacks 
for my when I'm lifting up the deck. This stuff right here is going to disappear. I probably can't even see it. Some of the other stuff is probably going to stay where it is. But my main purpose was just to get some of this stuff off the floor and onto the wall. This stuff right here, that's going to go away. That box. I got my wheelbarrow back there and got some fertilizer and seed and stuff over there. Uh, my spreader right here, my new spreader. I love that thing. This uh, uh, aerator is probably going to stay there. I might turn it around to give it some more room in here, but that'll be, you know, out the wild by and by. And I'm planning on getting a shed eventually, so that might disappear. Some of the stuff might disappear anyway, and it'll give me more room to do what I need to do in here. Uh, but yeah, that's my uh, that's my cleanup for uh, my garage. I still I'm planning on uh, painting everything. Still plan still planning on painting everything and uh, getting everything a little bit more organized. As you can see over here, this area is still chaos. Um, I'm thinking about just getting rid of all these little eyes and end tools and just buying one big set. That way I can keep it in here. Uh, my kids are getting a little bit older, so a lot of those toys are going to disappear. Most of the shelf is mainly for my work area. This is for my car car cleaning or car care. Car care. And this right here, you guys know what it is. Uh, so yeah, um, it's a little shoe rack and uh, tent chairs or whatever they call them. Uh, some of that stuff would disappear, but yeah, I figured you know this was the best better best time as any to try to get some of this stuff cleaned up and I finally had time to do it. Oh, I did want to talk about these racks. Um, so there are three different sections, one, one, two, and three. So the trimmer section, the blower section, and the two, the hand tool section are different, all different uh, pieces of uh, whatever it is. And uh, those are all different. There's a beetle flying around guys, sorry. Um, and I was able to put all of that stuff on the racks that was that used to be in this corner on that little uh, I don't even know if you can see this thing now on this little uh, I don't know I don't even want to bring it back in the garage but uh, on my little hand cart my hand tool that you guys seen and uh, <clears throat> so yeah uh, all of those tools fit nicely on the wall which I love probably won't get anything else and if I do get something else I'll probably replace it but I'm not sure yet just yet I wish those were a little bit longer for me to, for me to do that and uh, but they're not so that works fine and plus I can add another one if I needed to um, but each section um, of panel or whatever the thing is called plus the racks cost about six bucks a piece so um, each different kind of racks and I did want to show you guys this and I'll probably show you better uh, when I have more time but if you look and you can probably not see it as well but I'll take this one off this rack is made for trimmers so it's made to kind of snug up in there and let it sit right there it's made for trimmers so that was kind of cool I like that um they they were five five eighty four I think five eighty four or five eighty six all the racks and all of the, the the thing that you hang it on was all the same price so it's made by Hypertuff what you guys know is Walmart brand and I kind of like Hypertuff stuff it's the cheaper stuff but like you find stuff like this I think it's kind of cool so uh, I found this at Walmart thought it was a great buy. And I tested it out last night with the uh, trimmers and it hung my or maybe it was the night before but it hung my trimmers up real nicely and kept them off the ground which I really like and uh, so I said well I do the same thing for my hand tools and for my blowers and uh, so far so good so I was able to get them in studs so these should stay up forever unless I change my mind and take them down but uh, yeah, they're coming up nicely, guys. So yeah, uh, since I'm not mowing right now because of the rain, um, and it it didn't really rain as much today, but it did rain some. But it rained all weekend. It rained like Friday night, Saturday, all day Saturday, and then it rained uh, Sunday morning. 
Um, and then it rains Sunday evening too. So uh, today is today is Monday, and uh, it didn't rain as much today, but it still did rain a lot. So I just wanted to get a lot of this stuff done that I've been wanting to get off my list. And this is one of the bigger projects that I had to get done. I still got another project to do, but it's inside the house, so I probably won't share that one. But yeah, I did, guys. I did want to give you guys a, a quick little update on what I'm doing. And uh, as soon as I can get back out there to mow, we will be doing that. And I'll show you guys a couple more videos. Uh, super excited about, got some new clients coming up uh, at the end of the season, guys. At the end of the season. I got in this neighborhood, and so far I've gotten two already. So hopefully we can get it, uh, get more clients in that neighborhood. It's a very nice neighborhood. And uh, I actually put up a video, one of my last videos is uh, the new property. But anyway, as always, guys, stay safe out there and keep grinding.